Hello? Mr. Bialystok? Anyone here? Mr. Bialystok? Who are you? What are you doing here? What do you want from me? Speak to me, dummy. Speak. Why don't you speak? Scared. Can't talk. All right, all right. Uh, get a hold of yourself and take a deep breath. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Leopold Bloom. I'm an accountant. I'm from Whitehall and Marks. I've come here to do your books. Oh, you have, have you? Well, uh, who is it? Hold me, touch me. <sighs> Hold me, touch me. One of my backers. Listen, kid, I gotta meet with a really important investor. Um, go to the bathroom. Oh, but I don't have to go. Oh, try, try. Think of Niagara Falls. <laughs> I'll be with you in a moment, sweetheart. Oh, God. Hold me, touch me. Where is hold me, touch me? Uh, lick me, bite me, kiss me, feel me, suck me. Far. Yes, here she is. <laughs> Hold me, touch me. You know, it worked. As soon as I... Back, pictured... back! Don't make a sound. And don't listen to anything you hear. Sweetheart. Hold me, touch me. As soon as I shut the door. What's the matter, Bialy? Don't you love me? Love you? I adore you. Oh, did you bring the checkie? Bialy can't produce plays without checkies. Here you go. <laughs> but first, can we play a game? One dirty little game? All right, you devil woman, what'll it be? Uh, uh, the debutante and the bricklayer? No, no. Okay, how about the, um, the rabbi and the contortionist? You like that one? <gasps> I know. Let's play. The virgin milkmaid and the well-hung stable boy. Oh. I, I, I don't think I have the strength. <laughs> don't worry. I'll be gentle. Okay. Oh, this milk is so heavy. I'll never reach the house. Oi. Help! Help! Oh, you there, well hung stable boy. Will you please help? Of course, my Dairy Queen. Oh. First, I'll take your milk, and then I'll take you. Oh, oh. No, no. <laughs> yes, yes, take me. Oh, oh my easy. God. Oh. No, no, you don't say, oh my God, you say, oops, and you get back in there. Oh. <laughs> Not a uh, oops. Send me to the moon, you animal. Send me to the moon. Thursday. Come back Thursday. I'll send you to the moon on Thursday. I may even join you. But first, the checky, the checky. I made it out like you told me to the title of the play. Cash. That's a funny name for a play, Cash. Yeah, yeah, so is the Iceman cometh. Thursday. I'll see you Thursday. Ta-ta, my little poodle pigeon. Ta-ta. Oh, bye-bye. Ta-ta. Oh, bye-bye, oh, oh, bye-bye. Oh, you dirty old buzzard. May I come out of the bathroom now, Mr. Bialystok? Yeah, sure. I'm terribly sorry I caught you feeling up the old lady. Feeling up the old lady. Thank you, Mr. Tact. May I take your coat? Oh, why, thank you. So, uh, you are an accountant, huh? Yes, sir, I am. Then account for yourself! Do you believe in God? Do you believe in gold? Why are you looking up old ladies' dresses? A bit of a pervert, huh? Oh. oh, I know what you're thinking. How dare you condemn me without knowing all of the facts? Mr. Bialystok, I'm not... Shut up! I'm having a rhetorical conversation. <laughs> Do you know who I used to be? Yes, you're Max Bialystok, the king of... No! I am Max Bialystok! Oh, uh, that, that's right. Uh, that's right. And might I say, Mr. Bialystok, and please don't take this the wrong way, but you're not just a dirty old man. Why, thank you. You're also a great Broadway producer. And there's something about me you should know. When I was a kid, I had the great fortune of being taken to Bialy Who's of 1942. I still have the ticket stub, and ever since, I've had a secret desire to be a Broadway pro... A Broadway pro... A Broadway pro producer? Yes, sir. Well, uh, kid, can I give you a little advice? Yes, sir. Keep it a secret. Do the books. Do the books. Yes, sir. Oh. 
Oh, would you look at that? There's a great big gorgeous blonde stepping out of a white Rolls Royce. That's it, baby. When you got it, flaunt it, baby, flaunt it. <laughs> Mr. Bialystok, may I speak to you for a minute? A minute? Yes, a minute. Well, uh, all right, so uh, you've got one minute. Go! Well, in glancing at your books, oh, I... Oh, you've wasted two seconds. You have 58 seconds left. Well, I noticed oh. that in the columns marked... 48 received, seconds left. Hurry, hurry, you're numbers. running out of time. 38 the seconds, if I just 15 have a minute, seconds, I think I can explain. 14 Mr. seconds, Bialystok, tick -tock, tick -tock. I cannot function under these conditions. You are making me extremely nervous. What is that? A, a blanket? It's nothing. It's nothing. No, if it's nothing, then why can't I see it? My blue blanket! Give me back my blue blanket! I don't like it when people touch my blue blanket! Okay, Give okay, shh, 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 here, here, here. Don't oh, panic, don't oh, panic. Oh, oh. It's, it's nothing. It's a minor compulsion. I've had it ever since I was a child, and I need to lie down. <laughs> they come here. They all come here. How do they find me? Oh, would you look at this? How can I help you? Ah! What? You're gonna jump on me? What? I know you're gonna jump on me and squish me like a bug. Please don't jump on me. I'm not gonna jump on you. I'm not gonna jump on you. Will you please don't get a hold of yourself? Don't touch me. I'm hysterical. I'm having hysterics. When I get like this, I can't stop. I'm in hysterics. I can't stop. Yeah, I can see that. Hold on one second. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm wet. I'm wet and I'm hysterical. I'm in pain! I'm in pain, I'm wet, and I'm still hysterical! Oh, what can I do? What can I do? You're getting me hysterical! Get away from me! Sit down over there! You frighten me! Okay, I'm sitting, I'm sitting. How's this? Much better. I think I'm coming out of it now. Thank you for smiling. It helped a great deal. Well... You know what they say, <laughs> smile and the world smiles with you. <laughs> this man should be in a straitjacket. Mr. Bialystok, may I speak to you for a moment? Oh, yes, Prince Mishkin, what can we do for you? Oh, this is hardly the time for levity, Mr. Bialystok. I've encountered a serious error in the accounts of your last show, Funny Boy. You have? Uh, where? Well, I noticed that you raised $100,000. But your show only cost ninety-eight thousand to put on. That leaves two thousand dollars unaccounted for. So I went to a Turkish bath. Who cares? The show was a flop. Bloom, do me a favor. Move around a couple of decimal points. You can do it. You're an accountant. You're, you're part of a noble profession. The word count is part of your title. That's cheating. It's not cheating, Bloom. It's charity. Do you see this stick pin? This used to hold a pearl as big as your eye. I used to wear handmade Italian shoes. $500 suits, look at me now! I'm wearing a cardboard belt! Bloom, I'm reaching out to you, please. Don't send me to prison. Help! All right, all right, I'll do it. Really? Yes, after all, $2,000 shouldn't be that hard to hide somewhere. After all, the IRS isn't interested in the show that flopped. Yeah, right, uh, you do that. I I'm gonna take a little nap. If anyone calls, I'm not in. Unless it's yank me, spank me. Well, that's amazing. It's simply amazing. But yes, under the right circumstances, a producer could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. Yes, if a producer were certain his show would fail, a man could make a fortune. Yes? Yes what? Yes, what were you saying? Keep talking. Well, what was I saying? You were saying that under the right circumstances, a producer could make more money with a flop than he could with a hit. Yes, it's quite possible. Yeah, you keep saying that, but you don't say how. Well, it's simply a matter of creative accounting. You see, let's assume for a minute that you're a dishonest man. Assume away. Well, in your last show, you raised $2,000 more than you needed. However, you could have raised a million, put on your $98,000 flop, and kept the rest. Uh, uh, yes, but what if the show was a hit? Oh, well, then you'd go to jail. You see, instead of selling 100%, you would have sold over 1,000% of the show. So there'd be no way to pay off the backers, get it? I uh, got it. So, so in order for our scheme to work, we would have to find a sure fire flop. Our scheme? What scheme? What scheme? Your scheme, you bloody little genius. I didn't mean to come up with a scheme. I was just posing a mere academic accounting theory. It was just a thought. <laughs> Bloom, worlds are turned on such thoughts. Don't you see? Darling Bloom, glorious Bloom. It's so simple. Step one, we find the worst play ever written. Step two, 
We hire the worst director in town. Step three, I raise two million dollars. Two? Yes, one for me, one for you. There's a lot of little old ladies out there. Step four, we hire the worst actors in New York. And before you can say step five, we close on Broadway, take our two million and go to Rio. Oh, Rio, it would never work. Oh, ye of little faith. What did Lewis say to Clark when everything looked bleak? What did Sir Edmund say to Tenzing as they struggled toward Everest Peak? What did Washington say to his troops when they crossed the Delaware? I'm sure you're well aware. What did they say? We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Me and you. We can do it, we can do it, we can make our dreams come true. Everything you've ever wanted is just waiting to be had. Beautiful girls wearing nothing but pearls, caressing you, undressing you, and driving you mad. We can do it, we can do it. This is not the time to shirk. We can do it, you won't rue it. Say goodbye to Patty Clerk. Hi, producer, yes, producer. I mean you, sir, go berserk. We can do it, we can do it. And I know it's gonna work. What do you say, Bloom? What do I say? Finally a chance to be a Broadway producer. What do I say? Finally a chance to make my dreams come true, sir. What do I say? What do I say? Here's what I say to you, sir. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. That's not me. I'm a loser. I'm a coward, I'm a chicken, don't you see? When it comes to wooing women, there's a few things that I lack. Beautiful girls wearing nothing but pearls, chasing me and placing me, I'd have an attack. Why, you miserable, cowardly, wretched little caterpillar. Don't you ever want to become a butterfly? Don't you want to spread your wings and flap your way to glory? We can do Mr. it. Mr. Bialis, we can can stop do the it. song. You've got we me wrong. I'll say so long. I'm not as strong a person well. as you think. We can do Mr. it. Mr. Bialis, we stop can do it. Look, I'm not a Drink crook. champagne, I'm just the bottom line is there. Come on, Leo. Can. Can't you see? Oh. oh, you see Rio, I see jail. We can do it. I can do it. We can do it. I cannot, 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 cannot do it because I know. How could it miss Bloom? All you need is a little courage, don't you see? You're like a fountain, waiting to explode and shoot into the sky. I'm a fountain? Yes. Don't you see? There's a lot more to you than there is to you. Mr. Bialystok, you've made a serious error in judgment. You seem to have mistaken me for someone with a spine. I'm going back to Whitehall and Marks now. Goodbye forever. No, Liam, wait, just think about it. <laughs>